up guys, my name is Levi, this is Shred's Shop. Connecting you to skateboarding, we're giving you a first look at the New Balance 1010. In this video, we're gonna cover the tech of the shoes, some notes and questions that we had for the designer of the shoes, and as well, we handed off these shoes to a friend to skate for a few weeks. You're gonna see the clips that he got. This one is sick because it's the Tiago Lemos first pro model shoe with New Balance, and it's getting tons of hype on the internet. He's been seeing wearing it, on his Instagram, people are hyped, they want to see it, and they want to skate it. It is also the highest end New Balance skate shoe that they make, and we're gonna find out why. First of all, it's white. And then also, second of all, it's blue. Third of all, it's gold. Anything with gold is worth a lot of money. We talked to the head shoe designer at New Balance Skate and found out what is cool about this shoe, what is some new tech, and how and why they designed it the way they did. Apparently when they made the shoe, they were trying to answer the question, what type of skate shoes would New Balance Numeric make in the late 90s? And this is what they came up with. Apparently they started designing the shoe months before Tiago was actually ever on the team. One day, in walks Tiago. He looks around and he spots this shoe and he says, oh my gosh, this is the shoe that I've always wanted. I need it, give it to me. We asked how involved was Tiago in the design of this shoe. They had said that he got the first run of the shoe and he made a few notes on the way it looks. Then he made a few notes on the problematic areas that might arise as people skate them. Tiago's been skating them for a while now, and this is the final version that he loves that is ready to come to market. When you pick up the shoe, you flip it over, the sole has a ton of tech, and you can see just by looking at it. First thing you'll notice is these four little holes that show the foam midsole that runs the whole length of the foot based in there for comfort. They're also flex points. As you guys know, a cup sole straight out the box can sometimes be really stiff. These flex points allow for good flexibility in the toe while not losing any protection on the bottom of your foot. The next thing you're gonna notice when the shoe is slipped over on the sole is the tiny little green fuel cell hit right there. It's bright green, it's hard to miss. Basically, it's a new foam compound that New Balance designed in their lab for high performance running in basketball shoes. The fuel cell runs the whole length of the midsole with a thicker density in the heel, making for better high impact if you're jumping down stuff, jumping over stuff, so you're not gonna get heel bruises and you bounce back better. It's cool to note for style points, if you're into that, there's stripes that go through, there's different textures. It's almost like a basketball feeling edge around here with a textured feel. It looks kind of like a basketball shoe for a little bit there, making it probably grippier, but also just flossy. It's cool, they have the Endurance Rubber Compound, which is the highest abrasion rubber compound that NB makes. They've done blind testing for the whole team and every time they come back with this is their favorite rubber compound that they use. Next thing you notice when you pull out the footbed or the insole, it's the ortholite insole. It's actually thinner than you'd expect on a high-tech shoe like this. It's not gonna pack out over time. It's gonna keep its shape. It's also good to know that everyone thinks that it's really good to have a really thick insole, but it's actually better for your feet to have a good combo between the sole of the shoe, the midsole, and your insole. And so you're gonna have the fuel cell to handle most of the impact, where the ortholite is based mainly for comfort on your foot inside the shoe. It's also antimicrobial, so you're not gonna have swampy, stinky feet. If you check out the heel, they have the Phantom Fit Heel Stabilizer, which is good because it hugs your Achilles, not with too much pressure, but good and snug and comfortable, keeping your foot really snug in the shoe while you're skating it. When we asked the designer about the colorways, he said that he was going through his computer, coming up with different color schemes with Tiago over his shoulder, working on it really hard, and after a little bit, he turns over and he looks at Tiago and Tiago's just staring at the wall, staring at a black colorway and saying, that colorway is dope, my G. And he said it was almost as if he was lost in space, staring at the different layers of the shoe. It's good to note that Tiago is very involved in the colorways, wanting to only have what he wants on market for this shoe. The designer also said that every time he texts Tiago, Tiago always texts back and said, man, thank you so much. This is the shoe I wanted. Everyone in the crew that's into this style of shoes wants this shoe so bad when it comes out. When you take a look, you can see there's a black rubber layer that goes underneath the toe cap and it helps from keeping it to pack out so you know when you wear your shoes after a while, you skate them and they get really loose. This is gonna prevent that from happening in the toe as well. It's a strong rubber layer so you, it prevents you from blowing out on the seams on the toe cap. Also, we asked them about the 1010, what's the significance? They said, the higher the number they use for the shoe design, the more tech is in the shoe. This is the highest number that New Balance Skate has ever used on a shoe. It's good to note the tongue is mesh, the toe is mesh for really good breathability. The tongue is super comfortable. It's not gonna slide back and forth because it has the elastic in here, 
keeping it in place. The lace hole design swirls back and forth, kind of like a dunk, which makes it really dope to look at. And again, the New Balance logo on the side has different layers to the color, helping it to pop. All around, I would say if you're into dad shoes or you're not into dad shoes, this is a dope shoe. Because if you're not into dad shoes, they're usually too bulky. This is a slimmed down version of that. And if you are into dad shoes, this isn't too slim, so you're just skating a vault. You need to pick up a pair and hold it in your hands to really see it for its value. There's a little reflective hit on the heel. There's different materials, rubber. We have some mesh in there. There's lots of different stuff. It's honestly an all around swaggy shoe, really high tech, and it's gonna feel good to skate. When it does drop, there's a few different colorways coming out. Check out these clips from our friend that we let skate these shoes and let's see how they last. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Levi from Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding. You just watched the first look on the New Balance Numeric 1010 Tiago Lemos Pro Model shoe. It is super tech, really dope to look at, and apparently it skates really well. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this shoe and what colorway he should come out with next. Peace. Tiago Lamas. Why do I start so fast? Here's the thing, we are super famous. We're so influential. We are the best on the internet. And if you don't already subscribe to us, you guys have failed already at what you call life.